so now let's go let's jump into the real problem uh, deploying to Heroku okay so we want to deploy our work to Heroku so that our friends and our family and our potential employees can have access to it okay so the first thing we are going to do let me close down these tabs Okay, guys, so I've closed down some files so that you're able to have some space here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create a proc file. A proc file. Okay, so let me close down some of these ones too. Close this one down. The first thing you need to create is a proc file inside the root, the root file and uh, the root folder. So the first thing you need to create is proc file, proc file, no extension, proc file with a capital P. Okay, I can't stress on that much, but it's very, it's very essential else it won't work. And inside the proc file, we are going to give the release command which is essentially what uh, Heroku should do when after it has been able to deploy the the app so immediately after it has deployed the app it is going to run the release file and uh, the release command which is we want it to do the migration python manage .py the py migrate okay the next thing we need is the web that's going to help with the hosting so i'm going to use greenicorn or greenicorn i know i don't know how to pronounce it greenicorn then the movie website that's the name of the project dot wsgi dash dag log file log file <laughs> log file dash all right then the next because you are using celery we need to provide the worker the worker command the worker command is celery dash a then the movie website worker dash log file uh, log log info sorry okay just these three commands are what you need inside the proc file beside the proc file what you need again is the runtime run txt run time dot txt that is what is going to tell your which python version it should use so inside this python dot 3.8.8 okay so you can see here that i'm using python 3.8.5 but Heroku has 3.8.8 okay so that's why i'm using this so we can close this, this only thing we need inside here 
the next thing we need is a requirement of txt file so requirements requirement.txt file and inside it you are going to list the dependencies that we want to use okay so first thing you need is Django as usual the next thing we need is Greenicorn that is going to help with our hosting the next thing we need is white noise which is going to help with the serving of our static files the next thing we need is Django dash database dash url okay so this for this uh this package i'll talk to i'll talk about it later when we get to when we are using it okay the next thing we need is psychop psychop g2 it's going to help us because we are going to use a uh, postgres database on Heroku. The next thing we need is the request like the Django Django dash IP IP dash where you know no dash IP where IP where just this this is what help us to get the the IP of uh, pay stack request the request library the next thing is celery the next thing is redis in in development i was using the rabbit mq server but on heroku i will use the redis server that they will provide me okay or that's our provision so just this things is what we need inside the requirement.txt file okay okay so we need to create a dot a ignore file it might not be in what you uh, what was provided because i ignored it so you need to create a dot ignore file with these things in it with these things in it it's very important okay okay so when you are done the next thing we are supposed to do is inside the next thing we are supposed to do is go and create our our heroku app heroku app all right so good let's jump into heroku okay then create a new app create a new app okay we are going to call it movies movies dj movies Django. all right it's available so let's go ahead and create it okay so the next thing we want to do is provision a uh, database and uh, the postgres database and the redis server so go to resources and that resources the add-on let's search for redis okay we choose heroku redis Then we choose the free submit form. Okay. It is being provisioned. So as it is being provisioned, let's provision the Postgres too. So Heroku Postgres. And we are creating the free version. Let's submit our form. So as it is being provisioned for us, or it has been provisioned already. Okay. So the Redis is still being provisioned over here. 
so let's jump into our visual studio code and do with the other part so inside the setting the py file the next thing we want to add is we want to change is the is the allowed host the allowed host yes the allowed host first because we are in production we just use this asterisk so that it will accept any allowed host any host so we are going to change it to be specific we are going to use 127.0.0.1 the next thing the next host is going to be local host the next one is going to be 0 0.0 Point zero, point zero, and the last one is going to be the Heroku uh, URL. It's going to be the name of the app we created. It's going to be movies dash dash DJ DJ dot Heroku app dot com. okay so just this for allowed host okay the next thing we are going to change this debug to true uh, to false all right and inside our installed app uh installed app you are going to add one or two st one stuff which is going to be white noise white noise dot white noise dot run server dot no static okay the lesson is inside our middleware we are going to add one which is white noise No. White noise. Dot storage. <laughs> no storage. Dot middleware. Dot middleware. Dot white. Oh. I'm making a lot of typing mistake today. White noise. White noise. Middle. Where? All right. This. You can add a comma here. Make it a random one. And here too. All right. So the next thing we want to do is let's go beneath and add some heroku settings okay some settings particular for heroku so let's go down heroku config okay so the first thing we want to do is the static file storage configuration so static static files underscore storage storage is equal to white noise white noise dot storage dot compressed compressed manifest static static files storage this same spelling make sure you check the spellings very well compressed manifest static files storage 
all right so let's save it the next thing is you want to specify the db to be used okay so the db to be used you are going to use the postgres that we have we have provisioned so the first thing we need to import is import django django dash Oh, sorry, not Django, DJ dash, DJ dash database URL. It's not needed that you should install it on your computer, but you can install it if they need be. Then let's move down. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to set is the DB from. So, so DB from. You are going to give a variable called db from underscore env is equal to dj this dot config all right and con con max h is going to be 600 then you call database the database that has been set or uh, databases then you set the default the default equals to uh, to be updated or oh, dot update update with the db from db from env okay so we are almost done we are almost done because you are using celery we have to configure celery uh, the celery app to use the redis server instead of the rabbit nq that it is using in production okay so we need to this line here the line eight you go down and add app dot config dot update and you are updating the broker underscore url to use OS dot environ Redis uh, Redis URL. This Redis URL will be added by Heroku when it provisions the the Redis server. Okay, so we shouldn't we will not worry about that. The next thing we need is the results back end. So celery underscore results back end that one is going to be equal to os dot os dot environ environ they are going to get the same redis underscore url all right let's save this okay so this is the only thing we need to make the only changes you need to make here okay the last thing we need to do is make a get commit and push it to our heroku our heroku uh, holder our heroku repository sorry okay let's open this up Let's go to our terminal. All right. So, uh, let's do a git add. Let's add all the changes. Git commit dash n deploying to Heroku complete 
app all right okay so the next thing we need to do is to add a remote a get remote url to the get repository here okay so let's go back to okay you can see that the ready server has been provisioned for us so let's go to the deploy tab okay it has given us get in it and get in heroku whatever whatever so first we need to log in first it says we need to log in heroku login okay so we are going to do that so let's copy this along so we are going to do heroku you should have the heroku cli installed also so heroku login okay And it opens up this weird thing. Let me refresh this so it looks a little bit nicer for the eyes. Okay, so we click here to log in because I'm already logged in, that's why it's showing me this to just get the authorization. But it might ask you to enter your password and your, your, your email. Okay, so now you have been logged in. So the next thing you have to run is the command that we copied from the from the back end all right so this is the command of from the deploy tab sorry not from the back end so you're just going to run this okay so now let's do a get heroku get uh, get push heroku master all right okay let's push Heroku okay guys so it is get push Heroku okay I'm going to get an error I just remembered we forgot to do something but let's 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 let it go on we forgot to because we ignored the .env file we are supposed to set those things inside so you even got an error that is different from that okay so we see it was looking for as no okay so it even made an error that is different from that so here's conf conf 
of instead okay so let's clear this terminal up all right so let's add it again let's add our files hit commit as um, second deployment okay so before we push to Heroku we need to set our environment variables and inside here you see we added it's supposed to be five uh, it's supposed to be four environment variable the secret key the email the paste stack secrets and the and the uh, email password okay so we, we ignored this file we ignore this file inside the .env file so Heroku has no way of knowing the .env file so we need to provide Heroku with those env environment to be set for us okay so we set the environment variables with Heroku dot not dot Heroku Okay, we set it to with Heroku config then the name config set then the name of the environment variable. So let's open the environment variable. So I'm going to do two with you, then the other two I will go off because they are my secret they are my secret keys. <laughs> okay, so provide this. All right, equals to then you copy this ones here. Okay, then you set the first one. So let's copy this whilst the other one is being set. Okay, so you can see it has been set for us. The next thing we want to do is this part is set the other one to set for the email user so Roku config set then we paste what we copied this here okay okay guys so i'm going to go off quickly and i'll i'll as i'll add my page stack secret and my email password make sure you keep the environment variable as the same as what has been was specified inside the dot env file which i provided inside the start uh, the starter files okay okay guys so i've gone ahead and added my page stack secret and my email password to the environment variable for Heroku to set it for me. The next thing you have to do is now let's do the git push again. Git push Heroku. Okay, we had another error. It says no module run server. Okay, 
okay guys so we made another mistake we said run server is not a module so sorry about that inside the allowed host this guy here supposed to be underscore let's go no static let's add it hit add hit commit that's m um, dead <laughs> attempt then git push Heroku Okay, so you can see it's it's now building. Okay, so it has been released. Our app has been deployed. So we are waiting for the migrations to be made. Okay, so the migrations to has been made perfectly. All right, so now let's go to our website. You are. This is it. Let's open it. See whether we have our app working. Wow. <laughs> You have an error. But everything worked. Okay. So, guys, you had an error again, and it says unrecognized argument, which is this. It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be log dash file. Log dash file. Oh, what's all these mistakes from? Let's close this thing down. Let's add it once again. Git add. Git commit. That's M. Fourth attempt. You should use a proper commit message, guys. This is just for three hours reason now. So I so let's do a git push. Roku. Okay, it's down. So let's go and refresh our thing again. Perfectly, it's working. It's working. We just don't have a movie inside our our database here. So 
we can do that quickly let's jump into this let's jump here and create a super a super user so that we can add a movie to it okay let's run the bash I'm going to do that quickly so you might not see it okay guys so I've gone ahead and created the 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 movies inside the database so I added three movies one two three okay so inside our paper this our paper account we are still using the webhook that points to the ngrok server so let's change that one that's the last thing that you do yeah you will do guys if you like what i'm doing please consider subscribing to the channel liking the video and commenting below it is very essential okay so i'm going to make a change here let's change this part to this one here and let's save the changes all right so now this changes has been done let's come here now let's purchase these two seats here Now let's fetch this two this two seat over here. Okay, you see I've been redirected. Alright. Let's go ahead. The payment. okay so you see i've been redirected to our ngrok server again which we are not using again sorry about that we should have made that changes so let's let's just go back when we are done we'll, let's go back to our dj movies again movies let's go back to see whether so we purchase the two seats for toy story okay we purchase the two store the two seats for toy stories okay that's why they are selected so let's go to another one you see that it's not been booked yet it's not been booked yet let's check whether the email still worked Fresh. okay so the emails did not work because we have not scaled our server or we have not scaled our app so that the salary will be able to work okay so now let's scale it up 
so that salary will be able to work so we scale it up with Heroku Heroku dot P, uh, Heroku's PS then skill then worker equals to one that way salary will now be able to work okay so let's Roku blocks PS that is still sorry guys it's supposed to be Heroku Let's clear this part. Let's clear this. Roku dash Roku logs dash dash tail dash p worker. Let's check the command for here. Yes, this is the same thing. Okay. Okay, guys, so it's now working. So I needed to do some quick fix. First, this one here, this thing here was not supposed to be dash log info. So it's supposed to be this. Dash dash log for log level equal to info. Okay. Or dash or info. Okay and inside the settings.py file also to i change the host url to movies dot uh, to the movies url that we created for, we got from heroku so that we'll be able to be redirected to the correct place after a payment has been made when i was done i made a get add get commits then push it to uh, heroku okay so let's go back let's refresh our page here okay let's buy two seats for uh lion king this two let's buy the front the middle front ones guys please consider subscribing to the channel we are going to build a lot of projects okay Okay, let's go with the success. Okay, guys, so you can see we have not found request not found on this server. And from the URL, you are seeing that you have two backslash here, which is not supposed to be there. It's a mistake. So inside the settings of URL and the settings of py file, this host URL should not have a back an ending slash here so let's take it off save it and you make the get add get com uh, get commit and get push to Roku okay so let's let's go back to our this one again let's go back okay so you are going to purchase these two seats for Joker for the Joker movie this here this is the final one we are doing ok 
que SP ok now you are redirected you can click here and go to the home page beautiful and let's check Toy Story has been two hours booked already let's go to the Joker's movie okay you see the two seats has been booked these two seats have been booked working perfectly okay so the two seats has been booked for us so let's check whether the emails were sent okay so you can see two two emails have been sent okay it says thank you for purchasing joker seat four let's go back Joker seat 5 ok so any count 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the email is working perfectly ok alright other ones so guys this is the end of our project this is the end of our project please consider subscribing to my channel please like this video if you enjoyed it comment below and share to your friends so that they also get in contact with this great or uh, good contact uh, content i really appreciate it and thank you for spending your time with me bye